What up, YouTube? It's your main man, Boys for Life, coming at you with another fucking video. Now, let's give a shout out to CNS, you know, uh, Cowboy Nation, all, all the Cowboy affiliate fan bases that do this shit. All right, so this video is going to be something quick. Going to be something quick and simple because it's all going to be dedicated to one fucking Giants fan or midget fan. He goes by the name NYG31. Holy shit. Watching his videos is a struggle because he has no idea what the fuck he's talking about. Have you heard him speak? He he's got the speech impediment and uh uh he doesn't he doesn't know what he's trying to say and uh uh he always said the uh, fact of the matter is and blah, blah, blah. fucking sounds like a retard, dude. He sounds oh my god. I don't know where they fucking dig these Giants fans up, but they do. Holy shit, the little bit of the video I did watch that he did on the Giants Hate Week. Yeah, the Giants Hate Week for the Cowboys. Holy shit, why are you showing... This is Giants Cowboys Hate Week, and I'm... Why are you showing game from the Seahawks? Like, why? 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 It should be a Cowboy and Giants video you're showing. But, oh, I know why you're not showing any of that. Because we do well against the Giants. Granted, y'all swept us a couple years ago, but we won last year. The year before that, we swept y'all. The year before that, we swept y'all. Like, I came into some facts here. The last, since Odell Beckham has been in the league, what, 2014? Besides the one-handed big old catch uh, game, which y'all still lost, Odell Beckham has had one, count them, one 100-yard game, reception game. Um, against the Cowboys. In 2014, he had 14 receptions. That's seven receptions a game for, yes, 189 yards. Or 179 yards. Yep, that's a lot. That's what's, Those are his big games. But after that, like, he didn't play last year. So there's no, there's no stats on him last year. But the year, but the, the year before that... I want to say he had 79 yards in two games with, like, nine catches. And the year before that, it was also low. It was, like, 80-something yards with, like, six catches. So, like, all I keep hearing about is Odell Beckham and these receivers are going to tear up the Dallas Cowboys, which what's funny is when Odell Beckham was playing against the Cowboys in previous years, the Cowboys had a shittier fucking secondary than they do now. Holy fuck. And your defensive line, your offensive line, my bad, is garbage. All the consensus around the Eagles or the midget fan base is Eric Flowers is trash. This is what got me. This made me laugh so much watching NYG31 video. He he was talking about, man, fact of the matter is the the Cowboys got a horrible D line, but the fact of the matter is, uh Last year they led the 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 league with sacks, but they were 15 against the run, and they are garbage. How the fuck are you gonna be garbage when you lead the fucking NFL in sacks? How the fuck are you garbage? And yet you talk about how the wide receivers are gonna dominate the 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 secondary, bitch. Your defense can't. I mean, your offensive line can't even hold my defensive line enough for Eli Manning to get the ball off to your guys. And you're over here talking about how the secondary is going to suck against the other Beckham and Judy Shepard and there, there, there. You sound like a fucking idiot. You need to go back to fucking speech class and or get like a, 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 a speech therapist and learn how to talk like a fucking adult, man. Because you sound, you look 35 and you sound like a six-year-old. Talking like this, and uh, uh, I don't know what the fuck to say, because I'm a fucking idiot. Uh, uh. That's exactly how the fuck you sound, man. Like, it's ridiculous. Holy fuck, dude. Like, your facts are just fucked in the head. Like, oh, I mean, I, I like I said, this wasn't going to be a long video. This was going to be just mainly about NYG31 and his horrible speech. Like, kudos for making videos. Like, anybody that can come up make videos, good job, because it's not easy. But I got to poke fun at this guy because every year he has the Giants sweeping the Cowboys, and every year it's wrong, except, you know, a couple years ago when I first started doing this. But he wasn't around, so it doesn't matter. 
But the way this guy talks, y'all need to go listen to him. Like I said, it's NYG31. Three one. That's his shit. Look at listen to his stuff, man. And this is how he talks, pretty much, man. It is fucking ridiculous. But this is Giants Cowboys Hate Week. And yet again, I don't have any fear against the Giants. Why? Because Eric Flowers is garbage. Nate Solder is going to be horrible over there against Gregory if he's playing. If not, Taco's going to be over there. And it's still going to be garbage. Um, am I worried about Eli and the receivers in the secondary? No, I'm not. Why am I not worried? Because, like I said, Eric Flowers is garbage. And D-Law is going to have a field day over there. A field day. Demarcus Lawrence was one of the top five leaders in sacks last year, if I'm not mistaken. And NYG31 wants to talk about how our D-line is fucking garbage, how we're shit. But then he goes on and says how we had we led the NFL in sacks last, last year. So I, I, I don't get it. I, I don't understand. And, 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 and if I'm not mistaken, y'all had one fucking sack against a offensive line who is decent and very good. Uh, they're not decent. They're pretty good. They're just a little bit below the Cowboys. And if your D-line can't penetrate their offensive line, what makes you think that your D-line is going to penetrate the Great Wall of Dallas round two? Because we all know who the Great Wall of Dallas actually is. It's the 90s with Emmett Smith, Troy Aikman, and Michael Irvin. But what I'm saying is, is use your head, man. I know you don't have... A fucking brain up there. I know you're one all short, short of a martini. Like, I get it, bro. Like, come on. You can't tell me. You can't sit there and say, my D-line is garbage, but yet my D-line led the NFL in sacks last year. Doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't understand where the fuck you're coming from. But, you know, that is Giants fan base. They're fucking retarded. Oh, and, like, I saw something that made me happy today. Like, it's, I get it. Eagles won the Super Bowl last year, but I love to see 22 divisional championships, five Super Bowls, while the Giants have nine division championships. That's shitty. That's shitty. What's going to happen this year is your team's going to get swept. Why? Because Eli Manning is a year older. Nate Flowers still sucks, probably even more. Eric, yeah, Eric Flowers. Did I say Nate Flowers? I don't remember who I just said. But either way, both those guys are garbage. You overpaid for Nate Flowers. Hernandez is a rookie, and he is going to get eaten alive probably by Crawford. Wait till we play y'all the second time when y'all got David Ir when we got David Irving back. Like, holy fuck. Like, I'm sorry. I feel we're going to sweep y'all this year, and I can't wait. I cannot wait. Sunday night, I got the fucking night off from work. I'm going to be at the bar fucking maybe doing a live stream. I don't know, but I cannot fucking wait. I cannot wait, and I'm going to cam up and talk shit about all y'all fucking midget fans yet again. Especially NYG31 and maybe Tear Belly the whole effing truth. All 5'2", 450 pounds of him, and then bad dog. That guy just fucking cracks me up. Like, I saw him in his tube socks the other day watching football with live stream because I wanted to get his feel on the Giants-Jags game when I was watching it. So, that was fun to watch. But anyway, I'm out. Peace.